Hi guys, it's Justin from Makita Designs and welcome to the channel. It's awesome seeing you guys again. And in this video, it's all about route selection and route planning. So let's get straight into it. So maybe you're just looking for new tracks, maybe you want to explore a whole new area, maybe you've got a family vacation planned and you want to add some excitement, um, you'll be surprised the hidden gems that are located just off the beaten track. Um, the power of technology at our fingertips is amazing and the only thing that is a double-edged sword to that is the amount of information can sometimes be overwhelming in trying to get through all that information to the right stuff can be sometimes be daunting and overwhelming. So let's simplify those terms and let's find out and extract the information we really need to get the right routes for our trips. So we all know the UK is broken down into counties. Now each county has their local authority which is responsible for the management of that county. Now that kind of narrows things down for us. Um, it kind of lets us know where to look um, for the information, um, especially if we know where we're going. Um, and that in, the, in particular the UK region. Um, but first, we need to ask ourselves a couple of questions. What sort of navigational tools do we like using? Is it a map and compass? Do we like using mobile phone, tablet, Apple CarPlay, whatever the case may be? That'll ultimately define where we're going to look for the information and how we're going to extract and transpose that information either on paper form or electronically on your mobile phone or whatever the case is and whatever navigational tool you choose. Now that we've identified the area that we're going to go to, all you've got to go is jump over to Google and then do a Google search of that particular area's byway map. Um, so in our particular case, we're going to type in wheelchair council or byway map and that brings up an, a really powerful tool which is an interactive map which is live and it has all live information about um, all current and future changes to any of the, the routes and maps and pathways and bridal ways that that map basically is responsible for. Now what we do with that information there is we transpose it over to a navigational choose of our, uh, tool of our choice. So in my particular case I use Gaia Maps. I think it's a really powerful tool. Um, it's so interactive, it's so simple to use. Uh, it, everything's at your fingertips. Uh, it's really, really streamlined. Um, I have it on my mobile phone, I have it on my tablet, and I can plot and plan. I can look at satellite view, I can look at topographical maps, I can look at so everything at my fingertips, which is awesome. So if you do subscribe to the obviously the Gaia maps, um, it gives you obviously a more a range of, of more freedom of movement throughout the maps and you can do a lot more things with the maps. You can download uh, the map of a particular area so when you're out and about navigating through those areas you don't have to rely on internet uh, and data which is a huge bonus especially if you're on areas that are um, limited to obviously mobile phone network um, which is critical and it is key to know where you are at all times which is really really good. Um, so what I do is I transpose the information from um, the Wiltshire Council or any sort of council's uh, map, interactive map, and I transpose that across to my Gaia map on the website. Make sure you've got an account. Account is free to open up on Gaia maps. Um, transpose the information there. Basically you can plot your route through Gaia Maps and then all you've got to do is sync that to your mobile phone or your tablet, whatever you prefer to use on the go. And once that's synced, you can basically download the map or mapping information and away you go. You can even use it as a main sort of navigation or like a sat nav tool to guide you to the start point or through the entirety of the route. Um, there are a few little quirks with the, um, with the driving routes if you do select drive. Um, it does kind of veer you off the track a little bit because it kind of relies on going on normal tar roads. So just be aware of that. So I tend to just leave it as it is and just navigate and basically follow the path that we've plotted. And that's been super, super handy tool for us to use. So in great British fashion, we're enjoying a nice little drizzle. So there's another point and another sort of um, 
navigational tool that you could use. This is not only uh, dedicated to UK residents only. This can be used by European residents if you want to come and explore the UK from a different perspective off-road and explore obviously the countryside that a lot of people don't get to see. Um, you can use all these tools that I've showed you in the video to your advantage and use that and I, I highly recommend you do. For those of you in the UK um, who like to do a lot of off-roading and a lot of green laning, there is a website you can use which is called Trailwise2. Um, it is run and um, managed by Glass. Now these guys are doing a fantastic job of keeping the tracks well maintained by guiding people the right way, giving people access to information um, that is live and it's, it's, a, it's a, a, an incredible tool that is basically pretty, putting people in the right um, way, pushing people in the right way and making sure that people do the right thing. Um, it is for the longevity of obviously the, the tracks for the future because we want to keep obviously this open for for the foreseeable future and you know for to the end of time um, but as the UK's population is growing people the interest for obviously going off-road is, is exploding exponentially so the the need and the access to this information is is so important and this is why I like to do these videos is to help guide people and show people it's not about just going out there and trashing the place and just mud plugging it there's there's a time and a place for everything but have the the common decency have the respect for obviously the environment and other users and obviously the future um, of of these tracks so trailwise 2 is about 44 pounds with a four pound sign-on fee i think so it's 48 pound for a year which is not a lot of money um, and it's an interactive map of the entirety of the uk um, it is very useful in planning and having a look at live information um, there's a lot of comments from um, all the different types of users who go on those particular maps and they'll give you key information such as comments on those maps so if you click on a route you can basically get live information from that route and they'll tell you if the lane is closed if there's any planned maintenance um, if there's any obstacles and it's just really really good to have that information at your fingertips so if you're planning a route to a particular area it gives you a really good heads up on what's what to expect in those particular areas so it helps you with prepping your vehicle making sure that you're mentally prepped for the area and you're not caught out ultimately by obviously taking the wrong tracks ah, so god gave us rain and tough trick gave us the speed wing boy i love my speed wing so times like these where it's really really nice to have obviously good gear reliable dependable gear that you can just chuck up in 30 seconds and you're undercover um i kind of i'm digressing so i want to touch on a point um that i get asked quite often is the more I travel and the, the obviously the routes become longer um, and longer people want access to those routes and they want obviously access to that information now as much as I want to give you access to that information um, I'm basically toying with my um, obviously myself here with my mind is you've got to understand it from my perspective if I give you guys access to this information um, I'm ultimately responsible um, for those tracks and that information that I've put out in the public domain. So if I had to give you a track like the recent one that we did was 75 miles long, you guys went down this track and you guys had a bad time or the track was closed or whatever the case would be, um, just bear in mind that this video um, or that video will be out for many, many years to come. Um, so someone might view this video or a particular video in six months or a year or two years time and they want access to the information and if I put that access out there and they go down those tracks and they have a bad time you kind of see where this is going right so I, I'm not that type of person who wants to give people a bad time uh, it's not why I make these videos I want to guide people and arm people with the right information so they can make their own choices, um, plot their own routes, use their own navigational tools, um, inspire people to do that. And all I'm doing is basically giving you the information that you require to make your own choices. That's all it is. There's nothing better than learning by yourself, doing things by yourself. Then you don't rely on anybody else. You become more in 
independence and that's what you need especially if you want to do things and go um, overlanding and be um, more remote you kind of need that you need to be independent you need to have that um, sort of mindset um, and that curiosity of digging through all the nonsense um, and what I've noticed for many years um, is a lot of newcomers into the industry for some reason um, and all they want is the right information and they keep asking um, questions on where to go and how to get there and they get fed nonsense a lot of vague nonsense um, and that's the problem with social media as well uh, there is a lot of nonsense and you have to do a lot of digging to get to the information that you need um, or not want because there's a difference between want and need so um, this is kind of this is why I make these videos is to help people like yourselves or newcomers who are looking for information and how to access that information without having the need to pay over the odds or pay for anything you can use the council website the byway maps the interactive maps they are free of charge they um, they're viewable by the public you can go and see that information that is not only just for people in the uk that is for international travelers as well that is all viewable um, by them as well. So this is kind of, it, it's for everybody, this video. Um, so if you want to view the UK and experience the UK from a totally different perspective, then use these tools. Um, so this is kind of why I don't put these, these loops and these tracks out in the public domain is because I'm ultimately responsible um, for that and things change all the time. Um, so hopefully you guys can understand that. Um, when I do go on tracks and do go on trips, that information will always be public. It will inspire you to go and have a look at that area. Or if you've already been to that area, then obviously hats off to yourself. Um, but I share these with you to hopefully inspire you to go have a look at these new areas. That's, that's kind of what we're doing here. So um, in no way am I being sort of um, closed chest and trying to keep the information to myself. That is not what I'm trying to do here and it's not what I'm advocating. I'm advocating is educating people in the right way and making sure they do things obviously right and have the best possible time doing so. Um, and this, this is why we do this. Thank you very much for getting this far in the video. I really, really appreciate the support. Um, hopefully the information I've given you and provided you with today has been awesome and has, has given you the tools you need to get to the places you want to go. Um, that's kind of what we do. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, let me know down below. That'll be awesome. Um, and I'm really grateful for everybody's support. And without further ado, we will see you in the next one. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer.